What's up, heroes? My name is Silo Clone, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords, and The Adventures of Aswa Dick Whistle. That's an alarm. That's never a good sound. So Vistas and T3 found Aswad last time in the assembly chamber, so we are free to move about and go as we please. This should make the rest of the time a little easier. So we know T3 is a... Uh, we're going to go to these co uh, command consoles real quick. So it looks like I, un I have a restricted system power distribution. I'm going to unlock that. And let's see what our system control is on it. Let's see. So it looks like all of this stuff is restricted to the bridge only. So I'm going to have to make my way to the bridge. All right. Should be easy enough to do. There's some remains here. Vistus, you slacked off and you missed something. Okay. So I think we're all set then. We'll go back to that main hall here. Then make our way into this sealed door. I think it should let us through now. Sealed hatch. They have gotten farther than I calculated. They are very resourceful. You underestimated me. No I told you that. Deploy the guard droids. Raise the force fields. We will trap them within the ship. Activate the mines. He Let really thinks. See how far they get now. He really thinks he could take me down. That's hilarious. Okay, so we've got mines here. I have My no mine skill, works. but T3 does. They are deadly mines. So I'm going to think I'm going to have to disable them. I don't think I'll be able to pick up a deadly mine. All right, looks like, life is yours. looks like something's gained combat. I want it to run towards me. Just because that's going to make it easier. This is you used the wrong ability, I feel. So you guys, come a little closer. Just come a little closer. There you go. Now you die. Go to a central commander, huh? My life is yours. No threat to me whatsoever, these guys. Which is good. So we'll recover all these mines. Now that we have Aswa Dick Whistle back, it's going to be much easier. So one of these things had to have dropped something. Access code minefield. This code will allow unrestricted access to the minefield through the Goto command console. Use the computer console to run software on the minefield. Let's do that first before we go any further. Since we're right here. So unlock restricted minefield. Very good. System control minefield. Basic diagnostic. The minefield is operating normally. What about overload? Success. What does it do now? All units are considered hostile. Well, that sounds way more fun. Let's let's do that. Because if it's anything like this was, there's going to be a ton of mines. And if we can get the enemies to just kind of blow up while walking through them, I'll take it. All right. Whoa, that's a lot of mines and a lot of bad guys. What's up, T3? What do you got for me? Uh, this is a droid control center for the ship. So if we shut it down, then we shut down all the droids it controls. Any idea where the off switch is? Any idea where the off switch is? Is that a yes or a no? I can't really tell. Wait, it controls thousands of droids on Narshida and elsewhere, but how does the signal travel that far? Wait, it controls thousands of droids? I suggest you surrender. Your chances for escaping this vessel are near zero, and your chances of survival are rapidly approaching that number. But it's not your zero yet, so I'm fine. Are mine. The only question is how much resources you want me to expend in subduing you. All of them. It's going to take every single one. Okay. So command console. We'll go back here. Systems controls. It looks like there's a containment field. So we'll shut it down. Containment cell force fields are down. Good. Minefield will run to overload. That's a success. Turret defense will run to overload as well. Droid controller, we don't have anything. Power distribution, we are restricted to bridge, so... Sounds like we're good here. Come and get me. 
Come on. Do it. That's right. Where are you running to, stupid? That was so easy. Now come this way. Blow up the mine. I shall make this one see. Well, that was easy. Way too easy. See if they left anything behind. Doesn't appear that they have. Which is fine. How may I serve? I need I need the droid. All right, guys. Where are you going? That was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Sometimes they just get so confused. All right, so we're going to turn off all these deadly mines. Recover every single one of them. Or not recover, disable every single one. Before we go through the security door, we'll check our equipment. I want to put on the Achani shield that is protecting us for more. Oh, I have the Jalze uh, Shea armor. I forgot, completely forgot about that. No, that'll work for me too. So that means my wisdom is at a plus six. I'm not going to complain about that. I like that. All right, so we'll go on through the door then. I should be able to pick it. You know it's a low security door when Aswat Dick Whistle's able to pick it. Okay. Bridge Command Console. All right, let's see. Now we have power distribution. What if we just shut down... What's the basic diagnostic say first? Primary and secondary power supply systems are online. What if I overload? Failure. Power supply system's already operating at levels exceeding recommended minimums, so we shut it down. Secondary power offline. Attached systems disabled. Reset failure. Resetting power supply system could result in catastrophic failure. Do it! Okay, never mind then. Alright, proximity warning. Cloaking device disabled. Multiple ships on intercept course. More visitors. I don't know how many more of these pests I can disintegrate. Lots of them. Ah, what remains of the bounty hunters have found me. Now it is time to cue the detonation sequence. The what now? Oh, that doesn't sound good. You guys. You're welcome to try, big eyes. I will not fight you. You're welcome to try, big eyes. Oh, you don't threaten me with a good time. Because you know what's gonna happen? That! Yeah. Amateurs. Alright. Power supply system. Uh, switch containments. Supporting... Alright. So, primary power... Status inactive. That's... Protecting everything, so that worked out just fine. Hey, what did you guys have? Nothing! They had absolutely nothing. Well, we'll go out the door that, uh... Oh, wait, there's a container in here. I want it. Give me what it contains. Skill too low. How may I serve? T3. I gotta move. How may I serve? You can serve by being quiet. Letting T3 do his magic. Because he's got a high security skill. Access skill, access code droid controller. The Ajalje belt again. Cool. This code will allow unrestricted access to the droid controller through the Goto command console. I'm going to need to do that. But first, if I can give her the Ajalje belt, I'll do it. That's something that's good on her right away. Sure, it's a plus one to wisdom, but is there another thing in the corner? No, but we have the command system here. Uh, unlock on re uh, restricted systems. Unlock droid control. 
system control and droid controller. Basic diagnostic here. Droids functioning normally. Overload, failure, organics on board exceeds specifications. Droids will exterminate all. All right, what if I shut them down? Droids disabled. Okay, that seemed all too easy. That was too easy. Thought it was gonna be more. We'll check the other command console when we get into this area. Don't look like there's anything more here. Because this seemed like a big command console. Let's see if it'll if it'll give me anything more. Okay. So they're already shut down. Never mind then. Answers my question. So I'm going to go Duro's bounty hunter. Murder! How are you guys not triggering those mines? That doesn't make a lick of sense. How did they not... They're standing on top of the mines, yet wouldn't trigger them. Okay, well... No matter. That's what battle meditation's for, right? Right. Chani shield. I don't need shields where we're going. What we're looking to do, no shields are required. Uh, I was definitely set up to... Oh, that was all too easy. Jedi support. Okay. I want her to use all of her aggressive behaviors. But I want her to use force powers. My life is yours. Oh, just stop it with that. All right, T3 is all set. You two? What's that? I would say tell him yourself, but that's not going to work. Okay, they're obviously referring to Atten. No, not that one. Don't don't attack that one. We want to... You can only see this one? That's so strange. How may I say? Alright, well... That was all way too easy. Another Twi'lek spinning blade, and they'll probably have one too here. So I got a couple of those. And our two companions have a level up. Same skills as before with her. No need for treat injury. Let's see, a feat. What would be a good feat for her? Probably improved dual strike. No need to explain why we're making that choice. I feel it's, it has been said several times now. Then we will do Master Battle Meditation. I think that's going to that's gonna work best for her. Then we'll do Master Force Scream next. T3 just gets all of his necessary uh, skills. I'm all set. I think that's everything. Although, what's through this door? I don't think I've taken a look through this door yet. Anything that's here is just going to die. And this droid is uh, repair. Uh, let's let's examine it. The droid is shut down. The power to unsequence from the bridge has frozen it in place. What's its behavior core like? The behavior core is extremely sophisticated. There's an arsenal of sensory combat lo logic upgrades, but they seem to be governed by a simple droid, uh, simple defense protocol. And let's see. Switch defense protocol. Okay, and I'm gonna scavenge it for parts. Great deal of components. Nice. Cool. That's just about it. So this thing's going to defend us along the way, too. Fire suppression unit. We're do that and repair it. Or uh, get components from it. So essentially, if any droids that I didn't kill originally, I can salvage for parts now. So let's go back to the workbench that we saw earlier. Because, well, one, I want to make sure I'm going in the right direction. And I kind of am. There's just a long, confusing way to get here. Gan! None of that. 
stop it. Just stop it. No. That's a bad Gan. Bad, bad Gan. Okay. So going to the workbench was a good idea, because now I get to fight people. So let's see what I can upgrade on my lightsaber here. Create or break down items. Lightsaber. What do I have? Massive criticals, damage bonus. Deflection, deflection. Def oh, that lowers my defense bonus. That isn't worth it. Hey, defense bonus and some extra damage. Well, I can't even make that. Let's see. Damage bonus plus two. Uh, it doesn't... I don't like any of these upgrades as of right now that I can make, so... Can I actually upgrade my armor? I can, it seems. Max dexterity bonus plus one. I, I actually can't put that on. So we'll just do that. I'm not going to be using the strength component of it, but that's okay. I'd like the constitution bonus anyways. Can I go this way, or is this going to keep me locked out? Docking hatch. It's locked, but... We tried to override it, and it didn't really work. That's okay, though. I guess now it's time to leave and go back to the Evan Hawk, because we've explored everything in here. I just walked into the uh, storage console. Oops. Oh, there were some remains here. It's a good thing I walked back. Another life support pack, so we're getting back those uh, uh, med packs that we were losing before. More Gan. That's fine. Even when the farthest one away takes 31 damage, I still three hit everybody. Or two hit. I can count. Plus, it's easy experience. T3, I like you, buddy, but you're gonna need to move. <laughs> What? This is take care of him. And I get a level up now. Yay! Aswad gets the level up. Sweet. So my skills, persuade, uh, computer, and repair. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Feats... Do I really need anything? I could probably go with dual strike. But since I'm using a two-handed weapon, I'm going to further reduce that penalty. I'll get into dual strike eventually, but for myself right now, I want to be able to use my lightsaber efficiently. Powers. Probably master battle meditation here. I mean, improved drain force would be nice, but I'm not really seeing a use for that right now. So improved battle meditation it is. Yes. Prove battle meditation. Or master battle meditation, so that's all good. And there shouldn't be anything more here. Because we've talked to those droids. And let's get the hell out of Dodge and get out of here. There's remains. I kind of want to keep exploring the ship to find people to murder. Just because... I could use the experience for more level ups. Gan, get out of here. So this will hopefully take care of my loss. So there's 40, 41 damage there. So she used fear or horror or something. And I just straight up killed them. You know what? I am not going to argue. They didn't leave anything. Their friend didn't leave anything. Goodbye, utility droid. We're leaving. We're just getting out of here. No more. I've accomplished my mission. We've rescued Aswad. We've caused a lot of problems for Goto. And let's go back down to the planet. And look at all the explosions. We get fireworks. A congratulations. It's like the end of the original Super Mario Brothers. What a day. <laughs> I don't think he's dead, Furball. You're, you're 
kissing my ass a little too much here, buddy. Uh, so what? He deserved nothing less. I only wish he'd suffered more. Uh, let's see. All shall know what was done in the skies over Narshada that we crushed Goto's life from him where he was strongest. I only wish he suffered more. That's why I'm here. I'm now taking the space in the power vacuum. Keep your primitive thoughts to yourself. Well, we didn't come to Narshada to fight with crime lords. But Zezkael wasn't aboard the yacht. We've lost him. Well, we didn't come to Narshada to fight with crime lords. She nods in agreement. I wouldn't say he's part of my tribe. Take me there, then. Where is he? You better! What the hell is that thing, and why is it on my ship? What do you want? Oh, you followed me. Why do I have another droid? How did you get on my ship? Tell me more about the droid. Why would I want this droid? I think your gift is useless. Wasn't your ship just destroyed? How did you get on my ship? I am afraid I do not understand what you mean. How did you get here? Uh, tell me about this droid. What does it do? As I indicated, this unit will remain with you and guard you. It will you didn't also say that. As an effective voice for my orders during your journey. I ain't taking no one's orders. How do I know you? you it won't try to kill me? I accept your gift. Goto has joined your party. He has special powers over droids and cannot set off mines because he floats. That makes sense. Thanks for the droid, Goto. Let's get to Narshada. I don't want your help. Maybe I should shut it down. Thanks for the droid. Let's get to Narshada. Because we want to kill this Jedi. All the so masters shall fear. from exile, though I do not know why. You were always difficult to read. When you were tied to the force, oh, so they're just throwing us right into this, huh? You. But I can see the mark of the dark side upon your features. I know how this will end. Yes. But I will answer your questions, if only for some measure of peace. In exchange, I wish only the answer to one. Why have you done this to the Jedi? Was it revenge or something more? Little bit of both. I'm not the one responsible for this. What do you mean? Do you think I'm the one killing the Jedi? What do you mean? Whatever this threat is, it leaves echoes in the Force, wounds that do not heal. It is something we had never felt before, until you stood before us in judgment, and we exiled you. Okay, so you blame me. Whatever's killing the Jedi is not being done by my hand. Not yet. If I could have done this, if I could have done this, I would have. If I could have done this, I would have. You are more involved than you know. Whatever is striking at us, it is something tied to you. Something you had experienced and survived. Some of us sought to understand you, to find you. Oh, that it sounds like a bad succeeded, idea. Even though we thought you were lost to us. Now, as we hoped, you have returned, but only to speed our destruction. Such irony. You're so accepting. I had other questions. That is all I wish to know. What happens now? I've heard enough. Prepare to die. I have other questions. What I can tell you, I will. Where are all the Jedi? What happened to them? I need to know why you cast me out of the Order. Why are you on Narshada? Uh, why did you cut me off from the Force? At the end of my trial, you and the other Masters said something happened to me. What was it? Do you know anything of Force Bonds and how to end them? I've heard enough. Uh, Force Bonds. What do you know of them? Yes, such bonds are a connection that can be formed at moments of crisis or in the slow understanding that grows between Master and Apprentice. It is most common between two beings who are sensitive to the Force. It allows the transmission of feelings, of influence. It was something you were gifted with, as I recall, before your fall. You form such attachments easier than most, even to those who could feel the Force only faintly. Even Odd. Brooke could not ignore it, which is saying something. What is that? Is there any way to remove such bond? I've developed a bond with another, one that is lethal to both of us. I had other questions. That's all I wish to know. What happens now? Is there any way to remove this bond? I do not know. A bond between two living beings is not something easily broken. It is not a choice. 
It is like breaking a feeling, like turning away from the force. So no. One of you would have to die, but even then, the bond wouldn't go away. It would simply, it would simply be empty, a wound. Ha. Huh. Okay. Let me ask more. Very well. Where are all the Jedi? They have scattered, but there is purpose in their movements. It is both to hunt and draw out our enemies. Well, I'll Somehow, go to them. They, we, are being targeted through the Force, and when Jedi gather, we are vulnerable. So we have chosen places where it is difficult to sense others through the Force, whether on planets dense with life or touched by war. In Very such well places, thought out. We may conceal ourselves, gather information without presenting ourselves as targets. It was part of Kavar's plan. I see. Plan? What do you mean, plan? Yes, he felt if our enemy cannot detect us, then perhaps they would believe themselves victorious and show themselves. And we knew that the war would be lost if we continued to act as we had. So if you hoped to pry their whereabouts from me, you will be wasting your time. Even if I knew how to find them, I would not tell you. That's fine. Atris is on Telos. I know that one. Atris? But I had thought she had gone to Qatar with the others. You thought wrong. You sound surprised. I had other questions. I, you sound surprised. Yes, she holds the last of the Jedi teachings. It is good she survived. For now. I had other questions. Very well. Uh, what happened to them? It is a long story, but there is no harm in you knowing. And someone should know. Only a handful of us remained after the Jedi Civil War. Barely a hundred in number. Then, even that hundred began to vanish in places where the Force seemed blind. The only pattern we determined is that when Jedi gathered, they were seen no more. At the last Jedi Conclave on the Miraluka world of Qatar, the entire planet was wiped out. An entire race destroyed. I see. Because the Jedi Mrs. chose and I are gonna to need to have a talk. Death. It was only then that we realized we were facing something far more powerful than we knew how to fight. Why did you hide? Is that why you hid? So you retreated. Is that why you hid? We could not allow the fact that when we gathered, we placed everything around us at risk. A Jedi's life is sacrifice, but we cannot allow our presence or actions to endanger others. And we could not yeah, fight an that enemy before. that will not reveal itself. But any Jedi, anyone who was strong in the Force, who attempted to track down such a threat, vanished without a trace. But that makes no sense. Tell me about this threat. Tell me about this threat. I know nothing of it. I know little about it. You're no help. I know more You're of like the absence of behind than its face. Whatever this threat was, it was targeting us and everything around us. Yet it was somehow weak enough that it was afraid to confront us openly. If it believed us defeated, then perhaps it would finally show itself. It was a faint hope, but it was the best we had. It was Kavar's plan. He was always the greatest tactician among us. Why not use Bastila for a good plan? More than the rest of us. All right, I had other questions still. Very well. Uh, I need to know why you cast me. Why did you cast me out of the order? We told you it was because you followed Revan to war, but you ask because you are not certain of that answer. Nope. Nor were we. The day so we you cast did it you anyways. Out, that is the moment I decided to leave the order. Because I do not believe we truly faced the reasons you were exiled. And if we do not examine such truths, then we are already lost. I think it was because we were afraid. It is a difficult thing to live one's life with the Force. I scare you, don't I? see a vision of what it would be like to be severed from it? It is more frightening than you know. Uh, I had other questions. Very well. Uh, why are you on Nar Shadda? I had thought perhaps that here upon the smuggler's moon, I might find some evidence of the threat we faced. And how's that going? The Jedi and their disappearance. I did not believe the two were connected, but there was a chance. And the strong currents of life here on Nar Shadda make perceiving a force user difficult. I could use it to cloak my movements and watch without being discovered. Which is why we were here. I had other questions. Very well. Uh, why did you cut me off from the force? Is that what you think? We did no such thing, but it is a technique that has been used as punishment in the past, yes. It is a rare sentence, and to my knowledge, it has only been done once, at a moment where a Jedi discipline has failed. What caused okay. your loss, I fear, was different. 
I am not certain I understand it. We did not understand it fully then, and only recently do I feel we may have become enlightened. The other enlightened masters how? may have more knowledge of this, but I do not. And I do not know if they even live. Does it yeah, matter? You're it seems right. your power has returned. Perhaps the loss was not a loss at all. I guess you bring up a good point. It doesn't matter anymore. Very well. All right. And the end of my trial, you and the other masters said something happened to me. What was it? Ah, so the records of your trial were found. Good. Sometimes I think this galaxy would be a better place if there were less Jedi secrets. I, I kind of no agree with you, you on that one. As much as I would like to give one, we vowed never to speak of it. And although I would not keep promises to Jedi, I keep promises I make to others. And Kavar was a friend. If we were gathered Fine. as one, then the promise might be revoked. Until then, I can say nothing. Hmm. Do I kill you now or wait until I find Kavar? I had other questions. Very well. Uh, do you know anything? Uh, no, we've already done the force bonds. Um, uh, well, we'll do the force bonds thing again. Yes, such just kind of skip between this. That's all I wish to know. What happens now? Now, now I must take up the role I was ready to cast aside. This threat has finally revealed itself, and we Jedi will need to stand together. I did not speak fully of what I have felt. Staying on Nar Shaddaa, it is an exile of sorts. I want to kill I him, but if I can gather them I all and kill them at once, it'll be even Padawan better. I on on Malachor. Not to the battle, but to the alternative. To the teachings that Revan brought from the unknown regions. And I was not the only Jedi Master to watch a student turn on them. I see. So you blame them. To fight in the Mandalorian Wards was no betrayal. Your students, your disciples were taught to protect innocents. Even when you would not. I had other questions. Uh, your students, your disciples were taught to protect innocents even when you would not. To fight in the Mandalorian Wars was no betrayal. No, no. They were not to blame. But many of the Order did so. It was a difficult time. A time of strong emotion. Perhaps the Council, perhaps the Order itself had grown arrogant in their teachings. It is easy to cast blame. I want to get information out of you time the and Order then kill you. Responsibility You're still hiding stuff from me, aren't you? And their arrogance and come to recognize that perhaps we are flawed. Not once did I hear one of the Council claim responsibility for Revan, for Exar Kun, for Ulik, for Malak, or for you. Yet, you were the only one who came back from the wars to face our judgment. Because I wanted to touch it in their face. To understand why you did what you did we punished you instead our one chance to see where we had gone wrong and we cast it aside and now that decision has come back to us and may carry with it our destruction perhaps yes, there will. was something wrong in us in our teachings and though i tried i could not cause that thought to leave me so i left the council and i was not so the technically only one. you're no jedi that is why many scattered and why many in the Republic do not Just trust Just a class us, Jedi master. And why we do not trust ourselves. Make no mistake, I am no Jedi. This is the end, you see. After this, there will be nothing. And I think it will be for the best. Do you wish to do battle now? I have nothing more to say. I mean, you're kind of tempting me to fight you right now. But Revan redeemed himself. Certainly that must give you some hope. I urge you to reconsider. For all the failings of the Jedi, there have been many, so many successes. Let's end this. I'm sick of your ramblings. No, letting you live seems more punishment, and it will serve as a lesson to other Jedi. Perhaps weaken them with your thoughts. Yes. No, letting you live seems more punishment. And it will serve as a lesson to other Jedi. Perhaps weaken them with your doubts. It provides no comfort at all, for reasons in which I still must keep secret. That's Suffice fine. to say, redemption was not Revan's choice, and I have never believed those of the Council who attempt to console themselves otherwise for the crime they committed. Is there anything you can teach me? Because you're rambling again. But we have spoken enough, I think. In words, I think, dull us both. Let us speak through the Force, through sparring. Fine. This Xian form should prove appropriate. Its best use is when you are outnumbered. Which I fear suits your, our predicament perfectly. You I will just find use it force easier lightning. to deflect blaster fire with this form, and it shall also guard you against critical strikes by your opponents. But that requires me to take off force channel.
That is a weird way to learn something. Perhaps exile has been good to you indeed. It has certainly not dulled your instincts, nor the speed at which you learn. I shall go to Dantooine, to the ruins of the Enclave. If you gather the others, I will meet you there. Okay. And thank you, exile. You're returning. I'll kill you all there. It is good that you are back among us. Oh, I'm not among you. Don't get me wrong. All right. Journal entry added. You've encountered Zez Ka'el and Arshadan. Spoke with him. He agreed to meet you on the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine when you united all the Jedi Masters. So we've gotten someplace, and we've gotten a lot done today, so I'm going to end the episode here. It's looking good. A terrifying force of the dark side, this one. And we'll see where our adventures take us next time. As always, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to let me know by leaving a comment down below or hitting that like button. Both would be great. It really does help me out. And if you're new to the channel or have not done so already, unleash your power by hitting the subscribe button down below today as well. And I will see all you heroes in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. May the force be with you and have a great rest of your day. Take care.